I am so excited about this tutorial because I'm going to show you one of my very favorite things about Beadographer, and that is how to select all the beads of the same color based on a swatch in the palette. So you already know how to use the color select tool to select beads by color. And here I'm selecting white, but you can see that it doesn't change the active style bead. And that means that if I want to add more white beads, or let's take a, a better example. If I want to add more of this color, I don't know what it is, and I don't know how it corresponds to the swatches here. So the color select tool might be useful if I want to take all these beads and change them to another color. I can do that very easily like that. But if I want to identify any of these beads, I can't do it with a color select tool. Instead, I'll hold down Alt and click on the swatch, and it highlights all the beads of that swatch. So you can see these ones are all that bead. And if I've got the tooltips turned on, it gives all the information about that bead. Again, I'll hold down Alt, click on a swatch, and you can see which beads correspond to that swatch. This is so useful for tidying up your projects, and I'll show you in the next one. I'll hold down Alt, click, and there's only one bead of that color. Now, if I have this color at home, great. I could just <laughs> take one bead from my stash. But if I'm designing and planning to order a bunch of beads, or if I'm designing for somebody else and I don't want to assume that they have these colors, then I'll probably want to change that, especially because it's not a, it's not a really important color. So again, hold down Alt, click it, it highlights that, and then I'm just going to click on another one that's close, a close color, and then it changes it to that. Now, if I hold down Shift and click on it, I can click Delete Swatch because now there are no beads, and now I've cleaned it up. So this is a really good way of cleaning up your design and, and reducing the number of colors in your palette if that's something important to you.